All right, you guys, welcome back to another Xenoverse 2 video. And today we're going to be going over the brand new DLC 12 trailer that just dropped. I took some screenshots of the trailer. I'm just going to be giving you guys a quick breakdown and my overall thoughts about it. And let me just say this right here, right now, this trailer got me even more excited for the release of DLC 12. We have lots of brand new information that we haven't received before, which of course I will be going over in today's video. So real quick, the free update should be releasing sometime later tonight or very early tomorrow morning on the 17th. And then the paid DLC 12 content should be releasing sometime on the 18th. Did you want to get that out of the way? So this is the start of the trailer, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Make sure to leave a like. Let's hop straight into it. Extra missions. A new time rift in Kantan City. Uh, of course, that's being the Tournament of Power Saga as well as the Other World Saga. Uh, the trailer, they showed a bunch of the CGI cutscenes. It got me so excited. Of course, we have uh, a God of Destruction Topo doing his Akai Energy Blast. And then we have him in his villainous mode, Hakaishin mode, or whatever you want to call it. And his blasts are a lot larger. Ho <laughs> ho! Fuge is messing up the timeline. And then we have the MVP, the GOAT, Vegeta, trying to stop Topo with his final flash. But that didn't work. So he's doing his family, father, son, Gallic gun, or whatever this is, right? They showed a whole bunch of the CGI cutscenes, which is very, very cool. And then they showed actual moveset gameplay of Topo and you can see him doing one of his super attacks and right here this is a move set he's kind of doing like a Hakaishin energy blast which is very very cool and then you can actually link that into Justice Flash and right here that's actually his ultimate Hakaishin ball uh, he flicked it floats to him but very very slowly right so at that time you can continue a combo do whatever you want and then right here uh, he teleported behind him and it knocked him into the Hakai Shin Blast. Oh, the unique combos we can come up with. That's just absolutely amazing. And uh, same thing with the Other World Saga. They showed a whole bunch of CGI cutscenes and then they showed some PyCon uh, gameplay, which again is very, very cool. A lot of super and ultimate attacks. And moving on to the new contents that we haven't, we've seen some stuff. Uh, but a lot of the stuff we haven't seen. So this is all the new stuff that I'm so excited about. Legendary DLC Pack 1 new content. Starting off with new parallel quests. Uh, I do believe we have four new parallel quests. You can see uh, we're fighting Lord Slug right here. Uh, Super Android 17. Uh, we also have a Tournament of Power parallel quest where we fight Kefla. And even God of Destruction, Topo, and Jiren. New techniques. Yes. Look at this, we actually get Topo and PyCon's attacks for our CAC. This was never confirmed before in any of the VJump scans until now from the trailer. Of course, uh, we have the CAC doing the Hakai ultimate attack, uh, exploding it right there. I'm pretty sure it works the same way as Topo, so it slowly uh, floats to your opponents and then you can combo him into the ultimate attack and then explode it, right? Very, very cool. Next image, we have uh, the CAC doing PyCon's ultimate attack. Uh, what is it called again? Thunder Flash. Uh, the trailer only showed the CAC using the ultimate attacks, not the super attacks, but I'm pretty sure we will also have the super attacks for our CACs, right? Uh, moving on, new costumes accessories. Oh, ho, ho. We have Jine and Bardock from Dragon Ball Super. Look at this, they're both doing a duo ultimate. Ah, uh, this is literally awesome. New costumes, accessories. And right here, they're both linking the ultimate. Yo, <laughs> they're trying to protect their son, Goku, or Kakaroto, right? Honestly, can't wait for the new outfits. Uh, we're also getting the few outfit, but that'll uh, come later on. Uh, load screen illustrations. Some new loading screens. They're freaking amazing. We have Super Saiyan Goku versus PyCon in the Other World Saga. We have this Trunks illustration, which we've seen before in the previous V-Jump scans. Uh, we have some more new ones right here. Goku Black and Zamasu. And you can see uh, Trunks with his sort of hope in the center of the two characters, which is very, very cool. And this one, the art on this one is just flawless. Boma in front of Kame's house. I really do love the art on this one. And we have <laughs> we have the Buu Saga right here where Gohan, Vegeta, and Goku, 
they were playing rock paper scissors to see who goes first to fight the Majin villains and Supreme Kai is back there just in shock <laughs> he doesn't really know how strong the Z fighters are right and then this image right here oh my gosh yo <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is supposed to correlate with the Vegeta uh, friend father uh, Gallic gun what he did in the Topo cutscene, right? So this is everything within the paid content. Playable characters, Topo, God of Destruction, and PyCon. Additional new contents, new extra missions. We get two of those, of course, Tournament of Power and Otherworld Saga. Four new parallel quests, uh, three new costumes and accessories, six additional moves, of course, uh, two of the moves being the ultimate attack, so we're getting four super attacks. I guess that clarifies that. And five new super souls and 15 new illustration artwork. Again, all this right here is part of the paid content, so if you want any of the new characters or the new story missions or even the parallel quest missions, uh, you will have to pay for this DLC. Next up, we have everything within the free update, which again, a lot of new information which we haven't seen before. So moving on, you decide the future of Kantan City. Okay, we have seen this before. This is the hero voting system. Participate as a time patroller. Kantan City votes now begins. So of course, uh, we look for trunks, we talk to them. Let's think of who to invite as a new warrior to Kantan City with trunks. And right here, we actually have a brand new character which we will get to. So we have the four characters which we already know. Ultra Instinct Goku, Dispo, Bergamo, and GT Vegeta. But look at the fourth character. Android 18 Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> oh, this is very, very cool. So I guess this confirms it. We have five new characters for the hero voting system. We also have descriptions of the characters. For UI Goku, it says a member of the Pride Troopers. Wait, what? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be for <laughs> Dispo, but it's showing Goku for the uh, artwork. Kind of weird. Anyways, so for Dispo, a member of the Pride Troopers, he moves so fast that even Zeno has trouble following him. Wow, <laughs> I never knew that. He uses his speed to overwhelm and disorient his opponents. Although he looks similar to Beerus and Champa, he is not related to them. As for Bergamo, brother to Basil and Lavender, and the oldest of the trio of danger. He can use his opponent's power against them. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. We got some information regarding the new characters right here, which means the stronger his opponent, the stronger he is. Oh. Wow, the stronger his opponent, the stronger he is. Yo, what can he do? Does he absorb their powers or... Yo, that's crazy. Okay, that's very, very unique. I know a lot of people will probably be voting for Ultra Instinct Sign Goku, but we have all the other unique characters over here as well, right? So I'm just trying to say, choose wisely, all right? <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm not going to tell you guys who to vote for. You guys vote for whoever you want, of course. As for GT Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans, husband to Boma and father to Trunks and Bula. He views Goku as his rival and trains hard every day in hope of eventually surpassing him. Okay, so nothing too unique for GT Vegeta. Of course, we don't have any gameplay or anything like that, but based off the description, right? Nothing too unique. As for Android 18, a powerful android created by Dr. Jiro to defeat Goku. She is married to Krillin, with whom she has a daughter named Marin. She is also Android 17's older twin sister, Lapis and Lazul, right? I went ahead and found an image of Goku's description and it says, Goku after he's awakened an incredible power within himself. No matter how intense the fight, he remains calm and his body responds to opponents attacks on instinct alone. This form is much more powerful than Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. <laughs> Yeah, so basically Master Ultra Instinct Goku, which we already have in the game. So I really want to know what they're going to do different with Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. <laughs> I don't know, but moving on, we can also vote for a brand new costume and a brand new CC mascot. Uh, we have five costumes we can choose from uh, in their silhouette forms or whatever. We have, I think, DBS King Vegeta because we already have DBZ King Vegeta. And we have uh, Android 17. We have DBS, Android 18, we have Yamcha, but who the heck is this person? I think it's, uh, Boma, 
in her space suits when she was watching Goku and Vegeta fight Broly. You know how she had that yellow jumpsuit thing. So I think that's what this suit is over here. It could be wrong. Look at this. We have a dinosaur, of course, from the DBZ world. We have Baba, the old lady on the crystal ball. We have uh, Paragus, or Icarus, <laughs> not Paragus. We have Icarus. And we have a great, no, that's not a great ape, that's Bubbles, yo. And we also have the Oracle Fish. Oh, ho, ho. not gonna lie, I do like uh, Icarus and the Oracle Fish. Those two are definitely my favorites. And next uh, image, we have the period times for each voting system. So for the hero vote, it's March 17th to March 31st. Uh, costume vote, March 31st to April 15th. And CC mascot votes, April 15th through April 30th. The selected hero will be implemented at a later date. Stay tuned for the details. All right, so uh, the selected hero probably gonna be within DLC Pack 13, also known as Legendary Pack 2, right? So these are the dates. So literally, the hero we can we can vote the next DLC character as soon as the free update drops, uh, which is March 17th, or again maybe later tonight, March 16th, because sometimes the free update drops a little before midnight or, or at midnight right so moving on to the next image uh new cc mascots of course uh the janemblies we have the red janemblies right here as well as the green janemblies this one is kind of you know resembling the kid that janemba took over uh, when he was listening to his ipod or whatever so very very cool stuff here new load screen illustrations again this is all part of the free updates so don't be confused from the other illustrations look how beautiful this image is right here. We have Tapion about to demolish Perutagon. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's so awesome. Yo, this image is just stunning to the human eye. We also have Beerus. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have God Goku right there. We also have Bulma being slapped by Beerus. And then we have Rage, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, uh, saying, that's my Bulma. And of course, Whis over there looking pretty freaking cool, right? Uh, next image, we have uh, Goku's outfit, and I think this is Goten's outfit, uh, the party he attended to at the end of DBZ. And the next image, a very, very cool one, a throwback to Dragon Ball Z, uh, when the green uh, lizard Majin dude, I forget his name, Yaokan, Yaikon, whatever, uh, when he was tried to absorb Goku's energy, and then Goku gave him a little taste of the Super Saiyan 3 power, right? <laughs> so this is a very, very cool image. I love the artwork of Goku right here. It kind of has that like funny vibe to it. Cool stuff there. And of course, we've seen this one before in the old V-Jump scan. Uh, <laughs> Majub, or not Majub, Oob following uh, Goku. I don't know why Goku's color is like that. I guess just to fit in with the background or maybe just to focus more on Oob over here. Very, very cool. I love Oob. And another uh, stunning image. Uh, we have, I'm guessing this is Kid Goku. First time transforming into Great Ape just because of the mountains. Uh, that's obviously where Grandpa Gohan lives, right? In the mountains. So I think this is Kid Gohan destroying his house and stuff like that. New costumes, accessories. Uh, of, yep, again, used clothes. This is, again, part of the free update. And as well as Bulma DB Super's clothes. Yo! We get to body overpower top tier characters as female Bulma. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Of course, a custom character. Uh, stylist. Very, very awesome. This is absolutely amazing. A new service that allows you to change your own hairstyle, hair color, and skin color. A new freaking feature in Canton City. Oh, ho, ho. so of course, the hair, skin tone, and hair color. So now, we don't need to gather all seven Dragon Balls just to change your hair color or your skin color, right? Or even your antennas or whatever you want to change, right? So that's very, very cool. Of course, you still need to gather the Dragon Balls if you want to change your appearance, like your eyes, nose, face, your size, stuff like that. This is more like a uh, barber shop. You can see at the top left corner, we have the comb and some scissors. Next image, I'm excited for that. We have some new raid quests. Three new raid quests to be exact. We have uh, Super Villain Super Boo, Super Villain God of Destruction Topo, and super villain Pycon, which is odd because wait, that's not super villain Pycon. <laughs> yeah, that's just normal Pycon. Crystal Raid. Topo joins the fights as a Crystal Raid boss. So now we can do one versus six playing as Topo. Yo, you can see him just crushing the CAC's head. 
uh, Hero Coliseum. We have 70 new figurines. Uh, we have, of course, Topo and Pycon. Cool stuff there. And uh, Janemblis to represent uh, Pycon, I guess. And this is everything within the free update, which, of course, we just went over. Free update contents. Costume accessories times four. Super Souls times five. Uh, three new CC mascots. Uh, technically one version of the character, but just three different color variants. 60 new illustrations. Wow, that's a lot. Three new raid quests and 70 new Hero Coliseum figurines. And notice we have a huge new monitor that appeared in Kantan City. So if you guys remember, like a week ago, uh, Bandai, they held this sort of, what is it called? Uh, Dragon Games Hero Coliseum mode thing, but now it's coming to Kantan City as a new game mode. Kantan City TV is currently on the construction. So it's something similar to that event that just happened uh, where we play as our CAC. We go somewhere uh, specific in the hub world and then watch a giant TV. We watch live streams or maybe the next reveal of the next Dragon Ball game or whatever. All the cool stuff like that. And uh, Legendary DLC Pack 2 coming autumn. 2021 yo already n no s exact release date just yet but dlc pack 13 aka legendary pack 2 will be coming out autumn 2021 and of course that's uh probably gonna be including the hero voting character that we all get to vote for right and this is the last image here legendary pack set be ready it's gonna be dropping march 18th in two more days of course the free update will be dropping uh, March 17th or maybe even later tonight March 16th because again sometimes they do drop it a little bit early and here are the times again for the hero vote character costume vote CC mascot vote all the good stuff stay tuned for more details you guys already know I got you guys covered of course make sure to leave a like on today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace